Hey everyone, it's Max with Lunar Replicas, and we're talking today about watch bands. Uh, something that we're very proud of is reproducing the NASA Velcro style watch band that was used on the Gemini, Apollo, Skylab, and even on the shuttle program. Uh, still a version of this is still in use today. But there's a couple different ways that you can thread this through and wear this on your watch, whether it's a Bulova Lunar Pilot, like something that we carry, or even the revered Omega Speedmaster. So why don't we dig into this on the bench and you can see the two different ways that you can wear this watch band. So we're on the bench now and what we're looking at here is both a Speedmaster watch with its traditional bracelet and a Bull of a Lunar Pilot that has already been set up in one of the configurations. Now, one of the most standard configurations that you see on these watches is just straight through both lugs and the way you do that is with the velcro in the upper position here to so the the loop side up 12 o'clock at the top you feed the band through 12 o'clock lug spring bar and then through the six o'clock and it's floating there you'll see the Velcro goes across the back of the watch. And then you simply put it on your wrist, wrap this through the ring, and then tighten the hook side of the Velcro to wherever on the loop. And this is 3M brand mil-spec Velcro. You'll notice also that sometimes there's a little bit of a gap on between the lugs here. These are 20 millimeters and there is a slight variation with this between 19 to 20 millimeters as allowable by the military and NASA. So that's the standard way. Through both lugs, straight through, uh, the, this back is actually going to be touching your skin when it's on your wrist. And this is one of the more common ways to do it. It's easier. But you'll see the next way is just as easy. We'll take this out and start fresh. Right, so the second way to do this is through both lugs individually. And you want to flip the band around. The watch band should have the flat side, the non-Velcro side on top. At the 12 o'clock lug, thread through. Just a minute here. I'm going to thread it through 12 o'clock lug and pull it all the way till you get to the stop here. At that point, take the end of the watch band, put it through the stainless steel ring. And there you have one side of the lug already accounted for there. So now the next part, you're going to make a loop and put it through the six o'clock lug. And now you have created a loop. That is where your wrist will go through. I'll demonstrate here. Your wrist goes through, through the loop, and you just tighten it up right there. The benefit of this is actually you can read the data tag on your watch band. This way it faces you. And there's a little bit more movement here. You got a little bit more play. Um, if you have a smaller wrist, if you have a larger wrist, this works pretty well. You can also adjust it on this side. You can move, you can slide this up or back, but generally it wants to stay right about as tight as it gets. So this is, I think, the more comfortable way to wear the 210 or the uh, small size, the regular size watch band. So now that we've gone over the shorter watch bands, why don't we take a look at the longer watch band? This is what would have been worn on the outside of the spacesuit during the Apollo, Skylab, and even into the shuttle program and the ISS, they wear something very similar. This, obviously, you can see how long this is. This goes on the outside of the suit, but you can also wear it inside on your wrist, and we'll show you how they did that. Actually, we'll take the gray one out of the packaging here, similar to what was worn on Apollo 15. And the way you thread this through is very much like you did with the NATO style. So what we do is take it with the Velcro side up to put the loop side up through the 12 o'clock position here, then through the six o'clock lugs. And you see this 
is floating basically on the on the band and we'll we'll go to about there maybe a little bit there we go a little bit like that i'm going to put it on the wrist you can wear these and you see photos of it. there's a great photo of buzz aldrin actually wearing his watch like this so you can brace it against your chest or something or you know just just you want to get that loop in there so now we cinch that up a little tricky because I'm not wearing an A7L. So cinch that up, and then you actually wrap this around your wrist an extra time. And you see how much tail is left after there. What you can do in that case, you, you unwrap it, just move the watch up a little bit on the, on the band so it gets closer to the ring. So you have that loop, but there again, brace it against your, your body or so. And wrap. There you see a little bit closer now. And you can tuck that one in there. So thanks everyone again for learning how to wear your NASA watch band, depending on which style you like, what size wrist you have. We have something for everybody. And they're all based on the original NASA spec. Uh, we try and keep them in stock all the time. So come to LunarReplicas.com and check it out now.